Hi, this is Amarie's 25 and I'm coming to you today to share with you some information about a product that I had promised to get back to you on and that is to talk about this raw African shea butter. Now I have been using this product for quite some time and I have absolutely fallen in love with it so I decided to share the information um, with you all and maybe it can help you too. Now it's not cocoa butter. Um, I have a product here. It's Suave's Cocoa Butter with Shea Butter Body Lotion. So that just goes to show if it's saying cocoa butter with shea, it's letting you know that these are not the same ingredients. So cocoa butter is one thing, shea butter is another thing. A lot of people get them confused, but it's to be expected because it kind of reminds you of cocoa butter. Now this is how it looks. I paid $6.99. I have been using this for quite some time and I absolutely love it. Now honestly when I first got this product I mainly got it because people have been ranting and raving about this product and I'm not a product junkie so I don't rush out and buy everything that people tell me to get. But <clears throat> I heard so much about it that I just decided to give it a try. And it was only $6.99 and I decided to investigate and research it for myself. Well, I have another video up. It's called Dudu Osun Soap and um, I did another video about um, Dudu Osun Soap with raw shea butter uh, combination and how well it works for my skin. Well that's how I use this product mainly. Um, I mainly use it for my face. Now uh, recently I haven't been using it because um, I was using it for most of the summer but the summer had gotten so hot here that I just had to switch off. Um, right now I'm using the olive oil but now that the weather is starting to get cooler again because it's August I'm going to pick this back up. Now I am very surprised. Um, I invite you to re look at those other videos especially the Dudu Osun soap and the raw African shea butter. I'm very surprised how well this has helped my skin. And I probably would have never used it unless uh, one of my uh, one of the comments left by someone who watched a previous video of mine told me about it. And so I was like, oh, well, I got this African shea butter. I never used it. And I maybe maybe I used it maybe once, um, and I really didn't um, see what all the hype was about, so I never used it again. But when she told me about it, she said how I would have a glow to my skin. So I decided to investigate it and that girl was so right. I do have a glow to my skin thanks to this product. So I suffer from cystic acne. I have not always suffered with cystic acne. It's something that has developed um, with me over time. I have always suffered with acne. But cystic acne is actually a more severe, the most severe form of acne and it's something that I developed later in life and um, this has really helped to smooth my skin, uh, make it more uniform, more even and let me tell you about this product. Um, I purchased this in my local beauty supply store. I didn't get it from Sally's or anything like that. Um, now let me read to you. It says African Shea Butter is made from the nut of the African Shea Tree. Now this product is found in um, West African countries including Ghana, Nigeria, let's see, um, Mali, um, just to name a few. So <clears throat> this product contains a rich amount of unremovable fatty acid which renders it far superior to cocoa butter. This fatty acid is crucial to rejuvenating and moisturizing the skin. Shea butter provides all the essential vitamins needed to make skin look and feel smoother, softer, and most importantly, healthier. Its therapeutic properties protect the skin from wind, cold, sun, and it helps heal wounds faster. Shea butter fights the effects of aging and repairs rough, damaged skin. Um, you want to store this in a 
in a cool, dry place. Um, now, some of the uses that are listed here on this package, it says it's used to treat dry skin, eczema, and minor burns. It has um, it relieves it has pain relief or provides pain relief from swelling and arthritis. It improves muscle relaxation and stiffness. It um, you can use it as a sunscreen due to its rich content of vitamins E and F. It treats dark spots, skin discolorations, stretch marks, wrinkles, and blemishes. It can be used for massages diaper rash, and as a hair conditioner. Now, I know a lot of ladies on YouTube are always raving about this product. They use it for their conditioner. Now, I have yet to use this product as my conditioner, but I use Mazzani Relaxer, um, and this is one of the ingredients in that relaxer. I think it has cocoa butter, shea butter, and I can't remember the other one. But um, definitely it has this in it. So I am using this in my um, hair regimen. Um, now I have to say that um, I use it to you know, moisturize my body. Um, I love that it gives um, good coverage. Um, I suffer from dry skin, which is strange because I have dry skin on the rest of my body but oily skin on my face so you know I'm <laughs> treating two different problems but this is really helping with both of those because with my dry skin it's helping with my dry skin it's helping uh, with my skin blemishes and um, eventually I am going to use this as a moist a moisturizer hair moisturizer and possibly a hair conditioner now I see a lot of ladies take this product and they mix it with conditioner um, you know conditioner I see Giovanni's leave-in conditioner olive oil castor oil um, and they whip it with the handheld um, uh, egg beater or cake beater or whatever you call it, a mixer electric mixer to get it smooth um, now I haven't investigated to see if that will work um, as a possible leave-in conditioner I may investigate it at another date but like I said my main usage is for my skin um, now it says here if you want to use it for your as a conditioner you really don't have to do all those things that I see these ladies doing um, basically it says um, that you can take two to three tablespoons of this product or as much as needed you want to coat your hair and you want to um, you want to allow it to sit for 10 or 15 minutes under a plastic cap and then what you want to do is you want to rinse the product out and then um, you want to shampoo your hair um, as normal I guess to get the remnants out and then you want to um, let your hair air dry you know um, while your hair is wet you know go ahead and detangle your hair and then just let your hair air dry that's how it's recommended um, from a website that I um, found some information about so that's one way you can use it without having to mix all of those all of those other ingredients but in any case I definitely recommend this product I think it is a staple that you have to have now honestly the reason why it probably took me so long to use this product is because it kind of reminds me of play-doh see look at this ball right here um it just remind it, it was just so waxy to me that um but it 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 look how it just so smoothly um breaks down in your hand and um that that fact alone is why I can I started to really use it because even though it looks hard and it looks like you're going to have to do a lot of work. It really liquefies very, very quickly. So this is definitely one of my staples. That along with my olive oil and my coconut oil. African Shea Butter is one of my main stays. And I love it, love it, love it. See, look at the glisten on my body. On my hands. It just leaves a beautiful sheen 
that's so great and um, so yeah if if you have um, any information you would like to share on how you use this product feel free to leave a comment uh, please rate comment and subscribe I have a lot of videos coming up I have so much on my channel I know my channel is not the traditional channel because it does not focus on one thing but I invite you to check out some other videos on my on my channel I'm sure you will like it and love it well this is Lee Williams or Amory 25 whatever you want to call me signing out today and you have a lovely day and keep checking back bye bye